Hi, this screencast is going to walk you through how to use computed elements within the web form module for Drupal 8. My name is Jake Brockwitz. I'm known as Jay Rockwitz on the web. I'm a Drupal developer and software architect. I built and maintain the web form module for Drupal 8. But what is a computed element? A computed element allows you to calculate a submission value using tokens and or twig. Computed elements support tokens and twig, and twig has a custom function called the webform token function, which allows you to inject tokens within your Twig templates. And Twig supports calculations and conditional logic and lots of other behaviors. It's how Drupal builds all their templates. And the computed element result can be stored in the database, and it can be displayed on a form view, or you can even hide it. So the, the computed element's only used in, when you're exporting data or sending email. And it can be used to create preview and custom results. And I need to kind of walk you through it. So I've got a clean install. There is an, now a computed example. I'm going to click through to it. I'm actually going to jump straight to the test tab so that it's filled out. And you can see the form here. I'm going to change the color to be uh, just green. And I'm going to change the date to 1980. And we can see that we have John Harrison, one of the Beatles. Well, not really, but anyway. I'm going to click Submit. You can see what's being computed is I'm um, combining the first and last name, changing the color into a header three, and I'm calculating how old this person is or the data. You can see that from here. I'm going to go quickly back through and I'm going to submit this. I'm going to go back to the form. We're going to look at the results. I have some test results already. So you're going to see three results. You can see they're different colors and it's calculating on the fly. And you could always hide these elements. What I want to show you is how computer elements working, so I'm going to click over to edit. And what this is forms doing is creating a fake preview page. It's a multi-step form where the last page is a preview, and I've stuck a computed twig element right there. And if I click edit, you can scroll through down. It you can say how it's displayed on just submission or on the form. And then the mode is auto-detecting whether you're using HTML markup with a computer value or not. It's just helpful because you need certain formatting preserved, but if you're just calculating a score, you're going to want it to be plain text, and you can always override it and hard code it. And this is just a Twig template, uh, walk you through some of it, but it's setting attributes, it's grabbing the data color attribute and setting that as a style, and then here's the first name and last name, and then here's how it's calculating how old someone is based on their date of birth. It gets the year, and then it gets today's year, and it subtracts it. And you can check this to store the value. And then if you want to look at some help, it shows you what variables are available. Um, generally, you're going to use the data, and you can access all the values. And these are some of the default properties for web form submission. And then this is the helper to inject tokens within your Twig templates. And there's also, I'm going to close this, and I'm just going to show it to you. I'm going to hit Add Element. So if I type Computed, you're going to see two elements. There's a token one, if we click through. And here you can just add tokens. So you can just browse your available tokens and see what tokens you want to add. So for example, if you wanted to get the current user's account name, you can just paste that in here and it would calculate that. And once again, you can store the value in the database. For very simple computed values, you can use the token element. If you need complex stuff, you're probably going to want to use Twig because it gives you a lot more possibilities. I'm going to jump back. So what's missing? There's no computed PHP element. Kind of proud of that. I think Twig solves that problem. A PHP code within a web form is a significant and dangerous security risk. Drupal's taken out the PHP filter so that people can't just start typing PHP. Twig is a lot more secure in the sense of you can't access certain parts of the environment. You can just inject tokens, variables, and call functions. You still have to be careful, and I recommend having you know experienced users using Twig computed values. The computed token is very, very, very safe. Everyone has access to tokens. And, you know, to end, I'd like to say, you know, how can I help you with web forms in Drupal 8? I'm available for training and support. We can work together to build a feature for the web form module or Drupal, and I can just help you succeed with the web form module in Drupal 8. And you can find me at jrockwitz.com or jrockwitz at drupal.org. And thanks.